Welcome back, guys. So we have Smith Machine Cast Hip Thrust. So the bottom of your shoulder blade should be resting on the bench behind you, and your knees should be directly above your ankle. So if you need to move your feet closer to your torso or further away from you, feel free to do so. You'll also notice that my feet are about hip width apart with my toes slightly pointed outward. And the main difference between a cast hip thrust and a regular hip thrust is simply the shortened range of motion in a cast hip thrust. So where I'm actually stopping is right before my knee starts to move behind my ankle. So you'll notice that my knee stays directly above my ankle the entire time due to the shortened range of motion. What this will actually allow you to do is focus attention on the glutes rather than transferring it over to the quads, which is what happens at the bottom of a hip thrust when you go further down in the motion. Um, make sure that you do chuck, tuck your chest to your chin. Uh, no, that's not right. <laughs> tuck your chin to your chest. This will help prevent you from hyperextending your spine, overarching that lower back. 